Right, today we're going to talk about uh, the position of the feet in standing poses. Right now I'm standing in Tadasana, mountain pose, which is the foundation of the yoga practice. Another word for Tadasana is Samasthedhi, equal standing. And to me all the poses we're working on are trying to find a reflection of Tadasana throughout the whole practice. So to give you an example of how the feet should be aligned in your standing poses, right, I'm just going to um, bisect my feet as if I was in a pose. Right? So if I'm in warrior one and I have very tight hips, I think it's best to keep the feet somewhat apart, right? with a little lane between two, the two feet, and that allows you to square your hips more to the front, which is the point of the pose. If your hips are, are a little more open, there's nothing wrong in going heel to heel. When you're lining up heel to heel, you can still be in your pose and, and have a little more room to work the hips to the front. Then let's say you're very open in the hips, you can bisect the arch, the heel bisects the arch, and then that rotation to the front and the ability to rotate the inner thighs back and apart gets way more difficult. But for some, there's nothing wrong with doing that, right? The knee stays over the ankle, the front thigh can get really low, you can square the hips to the front, and that's only for people with very open hips. In truth, I can work this way, and I tend to choose to work heel to heel. Again, it's really about the individual's body, what your body needs, but I think it's really important that we maintain the same alignment through all the different standing poses. Let's say warrior one, warrior two, parsvakonasana, parsvatonasana. This lining up of the feet is very key to what we're trying to accomplish, which is always finding our way to Tadasana.